they strike the duel. Rob Stewart at court and must be penalised. He's going to get a free kick. Tom behind play too. Jimmy Buckley having a word. Oops, Bruce Duell. Bruce Duell has gone berserk. Well, oh, look at this. Chance to stand out to mark. And he's got it. And he's down. My God, there's another one down. Dents has got him down too. It was a and tough match, as Jeff Ablett found out from teammate John Kennedy. Of distance in his kick. Robert Di Pierre Domenico and Kevin Sheldon came to terms. Di Domenico, coming through was Evans tackled too hard. When you throw a handful of hawks among the swans, feathers are certain to fly. And they did just that at the lakeside ground. In the midst of things were heavyweights and incidentally rival skippers Don Scott and Barry Round. punch up in the middle with Round and Scott. Big Carl made this fiery exit after 285 BFL games and 20 tribunal appearances. He was found not guilty of... Here it goes. Whack. That caused a report. And as you can see, something else as well. To the umpire, kinks in the thick of things. Mackay again. I tell you what, uh, they, there must have been 4,000 punches thrown there by one guard player. And Bruce still nearly lost his head. Uh, he's, he's got it. perhaps the hardest bump of the day. Oh, he's gathered the ball in the centre. Pops one too high. Play between. Oh, Blyton. Uh, well, Arnold Gladys, Andrew there. Island, Rotto Ball. Birds have all into it. Big girl is left and right. They've got to stop this. The play's still going on. Golly, it's a tournament that's down there at centre-half uh, forward for North Melbourne. And it's on behind play. It's on that uh, Pickett and uh, Brighters are at it. Tim, I it with Smith and down he went like a bag of Bump of the day. Smith the going down from really Worthington. He hasn't moved, Smith. But the kick that by Merritt up third, a little bit of a ruckus going on down here. I don't know what happened, but the umpire's taking out the, the book. I think Ray Shaw said something to him. Carlton's little mosquito fleet were on the receiving end against South before finally picking themselves up, dusting themselves off, and showing their class. The kick comes out of the pack, the top down, and it's no free kick. At BFL Park, Geelong continued to improve, but the points this day against Hawthorne were hard fought for. He's not going to kiss him, I don't think. It'll be a 15-metre penalty against Turner. Matthews takes the mark. Scott. And a beautiful judo throw. Don Scott down. Don Scott down. Got one right across the face that time. Take the mark In a real seesaw three. battle, Can't South Melbourne and Essendon exactly swapped the lead and plenty more. Three. Countless times in their match at Windy Hill. In a thrilling finish, the Swans were to win by five points. I think he may be acting a little bit. Tony Shaw down with the ball. In just a bone-jarring instant, Andrew Island learnt the meaning of the lethal Lee tag. Oh, over the top came Smith. Two Richmond players go down again. And Welsh comes across, fumbles it a couple of times, oh. gets the ball going, and we could find a free kick oh. by Robert Neal on this occasion. Oh, but again, he won't give in this. Oh, we've got a last oh. course. It's over towards Wayne Richardson. He's got the ball. Oh, he's down, Gordon. Walker. Ball forward for the North Melbourne side. And the mark is there. And Keith Frank. Have you played that? Greg on the centre wing for North Melbourne. Whoops, and it's on Cousins in there. Doom, he's gone for a pass, he's got it. Oh, doing a great job there with the... Oh, down goes Walls. Your half back, Lyle well, McClure is up. Pick it up on the first hop that time. Down he goes. Get a free kick, Calvin Matthews. I wouldn't argue now you got the... Oh, oh, we saw that. In the centre. Calvin desperately trail by 13 points. He's over to Matthews again, but he's in trouble. He's down. Drain trying to grab it. Oh, he's met solidly here by Sullivan. Oh, he's met solidly again by Hardiman. And the free kick goes to Reigns. And now oh, oh, oh. it allows Morrison to come through. Come through. Down to Bryce. Bryce is there. Oh, these are uh, forward flank and coming in there to take. Oh, McMahon's in the, in the, in the gun for the goal. Oh, oh. Coming back to pick and in trouble. Oh, and down he goes. To Ashman. Ashman, you're in heaps of trouble. And he's lost it. Up to the full forward zone. Oh, Jess got a... oh. However, when they weren't flexing their muscles, they took marks like these. Is it there? Oh. Going right towards the forward Knights line. of Hudson Hawthorne. Put out of position. Oh, Knights! They're half full and Knights flying high. What a mark. They're flying over oh. from the Knights. Well, Mansfield it was. Mansfield's kick up to the half forward line. Van der Haar! out from fullback. Over it goes. Knights in front of a beautiful mark. Pepper again in the frame. Got it! Covered. 
Oh. Essendon and Conning were old rivals and still the high flyers were there. Once again, Paul Vanderhaar. And at the other end, the other blonde high flyer, Peter Moore. There were great individual performances like this one from Michael Young. A short pass over here looking for and finding Roach. This is an 80 metre goal down the Michael Roach once again. And Roach over the back of 40. Took a beautifully judged mark. Long kick. There's Roach again. Great mark. Great mark. Once again he flies. He's got it. Great. Oh, what a beautiful mark. That's fair enough too. Look at that for a mark. First free kick of the match, it's going Back to... Back Street, Johnny the one Burns, the boy from the West, Ross Glendinning, Burns showed the best of his skills. No one with a high kick. Oh, oh, nice great mark! Glendinning towards the full forward zone. Glendinning! There we see the ball driven up that time by Burns. Up towards the full forward zone. There's Glendinning! My golly, how's this guy for a mark? And from Blight stunned the crowd with this great mark. Ball down. Looking for Bright, it's from behind it. Wilson of Fitzroy, Madden of Essendon. The ball back into play. Robbie McGee there for the Tigers. He goes up. Great mark taken from behind by Simon Madden of Essendon. Mark comes in. Gumbledon of North Melbourne. Is it there? Flower of Melbourne. Teasdale, South Melbourne. And it's all South Melbourne. And right toward the glyph. O'Keefe's and Kildare. Okay. Carmen of Collingwood. Bond the boot Collingwood deep into attack. It's a long kick. Oh, the leap by Carmen! Oh, what a magnificent mark! Woods Just for Richmond. Towards the halfback flank. Wood goes high. Oh, brings right. down a screamer. Great mark. The screen is Young for fit. South He's Melbourne. Too far over that time. And uh, oh, oh, beautiful mark. Young. Dean. Again, Knights for Hawthorne. Towards the halfback flank on the other side. Knights will leap from behind. Oh, and touch. Not a marker for St Kilda. Oh, beautiful mark. mark what a mark. Oh, Ripper! By trying to pick it up is Terry Bright. Bright trying to go forward. Gets in towards the goal. Squares a goal and Geelong are back in front. Go for the short Even pass. skipper Ian Dan Curvis contributed to the Cats' 57-point win when he sauntered down from the back pocket for this goal. Running around, has a shot at the goals. A beautiful goal. What a great goal. But... Not a bad sort of a shot, but it veers off at the last moment off the top of the pack. Right on the uh, edge of the uh, line there. Oh, he's got around them beautifully. A snap for goal. That might be through. It's a beautiful goal. What a magnificent goal by Bright. Goal number six. To football, however. The ball and with play like this from Alan Edwards, Collingwood was to continue to hold on to fifth spot on the ladder with a 27-point win. Looking for the short pass to Brewer, and he's found him. Brewer immediately plays on, goes for the short pass. Great play by Brewer as he's found Ray Shaw. He'll run into the open goal for the easiest of goals, and that was tremendous football by Collingwood. Here he is, the young fella, about 55 metres out from goal. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. Look at this one. It's right through the middle. Geelong using three ruck rovers as Clark now gets it to Turner. Turner using his pace. He's well shepherded there by Lund. Runs oh, around another it. tackle. Turner goes by what it's got. It's across the face, maybe. It's a, it's a beautiful goal from Turner. Magnificent football. That's put in play by Turner. That's the bounce of the ball. Roll round, gets the hit out that time. Comes back towards Dacos. He'll swing onto the right foot. Back at the goals. And I think, yes, it's a goal to Dacos. A good goal. For, for Hawthorne, the, the, the season was a dismal and forgettable one. This Gillis match against Carlton was no exception. Kick. A beautiful goal by Mark Gillen. Scores the dead level. Puts it into the centre. Johnson, a fine mark. Gets away now from Meade. Straightens up and puts a long kick down towards the goal line. Sheldon's there for Carlton. It goes past Sheldon. Rolls through. A great goal by one. Johnson. Waitman. Waitman in towards goal. Looking for Dunn. Uh, Roach over the back. They're off the ground. I think it's a goal. Roach is up again, but he's over the back of the pack this time. Players diving on the ball. Here's a chance for Roach to kick it off the ground. He can. Goal number 10 it is. Forward to the Tigers. Roach having plenty of bother today. Only a couple of kicks. That's number three. It's almost a goal! Hit the post or is it true? It's a goal! Oh, oh unbelievable! It's over the head of the pack, there's lots coming through, lots of running to the open goal, and there it is! It's the way by Wright, gathered in by Jellia. Jellia, quick handball across to Lofts, and Lofts, it's a magnificent kick by Lofts. Half forward zone, and Lofts, under the ball again, plays on quickly. I thought he would look for Saru, but he's gone goal with again. Another goal! It's the way by James, kicked on to by Colling, there's an opportunity, oh, a chance for Locks again, into the open goals, he strides. And down, almost a mark away, Pete. Locks throws the ball out in front of him now, picks it up, has another side goal, and you wouldn't want to know, it's number seven. Good steal for the Magpies, 
Hoist your pass in. Yeah, but the uh, fouls it is in the back position. Vanderhaar comes through, cops one very heavily. Vanderhaar's in front on that occasion. Gathers in the ball nicely, but has grabbed around the neck as goes for this. Let's watch it again. Look at this. Oh, by golly, that's uh, Festival Hall stuff for the quarter. That's not a bad effort coming on at half time. And McKenna's got the mark and the free kick, and he's down. Win the game on his own in the third quarter. There's Scott doing a tremendous job on the ruck. Look at him go through. And goes back to Moncrief. We'll get a free kick. Almost lost his. Um, Adam's apple. Adam's apple. <laughs> got it. Oops. It goes. Well, intercepted by the mark taken up. Will he pick him? Oh, he's stumped from the ground. That must be reportable. They're trying to get clear. Oh, wing. Andrew Owen streaming in. Oh. And the wrong one doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Edwards takes it. Whoops. Oh. Oh. Picken, Shaw and Greg. But basically a rough and tough encounter between the 1977 grand finalists, North and Collingwood. And this time the Magpies came out five points up. Oh, look at that Magro going. Does he go in hard? Nick oh, he's got the mark. Got a nasty one from Greg that time. But I don't think the uh, Brownlow medalist met. Well, I thought this match would be on the tilt. It's uh, been terrific. You can really... Only 17,000 people were at Arden Street to see North and South slug it up. And it seemed that Barassi's rules were on the receiving end. Just the right height the cop players. For him, three South Melbourne players there. North player, Pottlezak, went down. And the mark to Lord, and he goes down from Jackson. You see flies, goes for the mark, and he's just about to go to the player. Pottlezak caught on that. When Bruce Dool's clash with Footscray's Shane Loveless was replayed to the tribunal, things looked bad for both participants. And coming across now is a voice couldn't Kevin Goss of South got two Goss. matches for striking North's Morris voice. Every year, the battle for the finals takes on a new dimension as the season moves into August, and 1980 was no different. For South and Collingwood, the battle for fifth place was virtually decided when the two teams met at Victoria Park. It was one of the toughest sport matches of the year, with Collingwood victorious by 33 points. The final five was settled on August the 23rd, when South Melbourne blew its chances against Hawthorne at VFL Park. It was one of the toughest and most hard-fought matches at the park this season, and the Hawks relished the conditions. The white shorts of someone who's been dropped. Back to James, he gets a quick hand pass towards Ricky Quay. Now kept the ball on, Don Scott following the ball. It could be a free kick against Scott. Western Australia certainly answered the challenge at VFL Park. One bounce. And that's the bulk of Mick. But the speed of McClure. Tempers did flare, of course, during the year. We had Carmen and Sheedy. A hurried attempt by Burnett and, uh, and McClure. And McClure not too happy about the hand pass. Collins and there was still the rough stuff. St Kilda and Hawthorne, Collingwood and Richmond. Big Carl and Henry and Lee Matthews was there too. Now it's right in the pocket there. Right and they were on the fence. Well, Clark caught one. That was a beauty right in the mouth. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. No, but this after the first quarter. There's a handball over to Mackay and Carlton are doing it well as they bring the ball right up into the full forward line. Player setting himself down. Now driving high. Up towards C forward area. Mackay flies. And Mackay again. Montgomery up towards North Bowman's half forward. Mackay. In front is David Mackay. His tenor's delightful kick down towards uh, centre half forward. Number 43 once more. And there's his kick. Looking for Mackay. Could he pick the better player? And of course Mackay. The kick down here looking for McCann. Mackay. Mackay. Beautiful mark. Oh, there's a side of Glenn a little bit that time as the ball goes down there towards the full forward zone. Oh, look at that for a mark. The Glenn Denning. Kathy goes to the centre half forward line. Glenn Denning goes up. He doesn't miss many. He's taken that one too. North Melbourne are uh, 78 points, a 30 point lead over the rest of the Down it goes now towards the full forward zone. Towards my oh, good mark to Vanderhaar. Beautiful mark. And he does a long kick up there towards Vanderhaar. Five is coming. Over the back towards Scott. Scott or Peter Knight. Has a step towards goal. Centers it beautifully over towards the centre of the goal. On the forward line, would you believe? Clear, and Brownlow runner up, so Peter Knight. The Galton players, Mackay and Knight's going for this one. Oh, beautiful oh, mark. What a magnificent mark. Now the danger through harms once more. A good long clearing kick up towards Knight and McClure. Knight wins out on this occasion and takes a very good mark. Down there, a little short of half back. Out towards the wing position it goes. At the back is Knight. Oh, how's that for a mark? Enough time to bounce it once, touch it on the ground. We've seen the runs. 
Now upcoming, the longest walk of the year. Credited, or perhaps should we say discredited, to Kenny Fletcher, the Essendon skipper. 15 metres. Kenny Fletcher taking the mouth guard out and having a few words to say to one car. 30. And 45. He threw the ball to Graham Fletcher to the head. Tiger Croswell wasn't interested in the niceties of the game when he lined up against South Melbourne at the Lakeside Oval that day. The former Carlton and North forward put on a show that could really be equal, let alone better. Looking back, it's hard to remember the Tiger kicking five goals. More likely you'd remember his run-ins with South skipper Barry Round, or his somersaulting and aerobatics. He gets his knee into uh, Scotty there on the ground. You can see that. Well, it might have been the foot. Short lead out here by Bartlett, and Bartlett takes the mark and the free kick. That's the Collins, who's tackled straight away, and Fox one right in the face for his trouble. It's his own again. Back she goes, and there's Ralph. Oh! Down he goes. Oh. Um, there he goes again. Oh, down he goes. Umpire called play on. As it goes, Cross will try again. Oh, for sure, must go Richmond's way. Whoops. Out. Out towards Shimmerbush and Wood at the back is Blood. He even got his own man in the face that time with his boot. And down went Shimmerbush. Shaw. Watts. Oh, Come and runs again. Knocked the ground. Chance to have a rub. Oh, golly. Got one of the chops that time. One. Well, pretty awkward old handball from Manassa trying quick. Down he goes in front. Chance to have a rear mount. Very scrambly football indeed. And he's going to be penalised. Morgan Blight to take the free kick. That'll be a 15 metre penalty for sure. Run him. At Moravan, St Kilda captain Gary Sidebottom was the centre of one of the ugliest incidents of the year. Oh, come off it. That is a, it was a, it was a fair bump. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, fair bump for mine. Well, I don't know about this 50 free kick. Somebody's thrown a can out and hit Sidebottom on the head with a beer, beer can. That's lovely, that is. That is beautiful. It was in this match against St Kilda that the highly volatile Phil Carman clashed with boundary umpire Graham Carberry. Carmen was reported in this incident for headbutting and striking boundary umpire Carberry and was also reported for striking St Kilda skipper Gary Sidebottom. There's a bit of a dish up now. Oh, oh. go here. There's Ricky, the two captains. Two oh, there's captains. a headbutt that time. Down, Down they, go. they go. The two skippers. Behind the play. There you see the result. And uh, Glenn Dixon, a very inexperienced tackle by as Jones comes out. Jess comes through. A strong tackle by Jess, I think. A great mark brought down by Robin Close in front of Browning. That's on again. Well, we've certainly seen some fireworks in the first quarter of this match. It allows Pickard to come back around the pack, but O'Neill comes through. We could see that tackle. Keogh swinging the ball down towards the full four position. Up high was McConville. A lovely mark taken over the top of the pack by McConville. You can see Sheedy and Walls having words about uh, Sheedy's late tackle. Sheedy now having words back to Robert Walls and letting him know uh, what he thinks of things. Robert Walls.
Essendon were in magnificent touch in a topsy-turvy clash. Day screws the ball over the shoulder. It's a beautiful-looking kick from Day. It's played tricks out there. Double mistake there by Dunn. Ball comes to Carmen. A goal coming up. Lee in front. Jess kicked it in mid-air. Picked up by Marsh. The snap forward. A goal up by right underneath. In the front ball point. The kick to be taken by Van der Haar. With goals like this from centre-half forward Paul Vanderhaar, well inside the centre square, the Bombers were set to steal the points in time on. What a kick! He has kicked that ball to the proverbial line. Down towards the goal line. Crow, Carmen coming across. It's back with Carmen. It's a goal! Veterans like Jezza and the much-vaunted Gary Sidebottom and youngsters like Dean Herbert enabled St Kilda to go into the last quarter with a six-point lead. Well, for mine he was through. Well, uh, he can't take the back. Comes to Bromberg. Can't get his kick in. Herbert off the ground. There's little Roberts going in after it. Oh, cleverly on the left foot. Hooks towards the goals. And I'd say he's put it through. Dunn knocks it towards the boundary line. Oh, good play by Herbert as he grabs that ball. Kicks it towards the square. Here's a chance for St Kilda. Step by O'Day. He's put it through. Comes to Monteith, handballs over the top of the pack, here comes Bartlett off the ground. Beautiful. It's through. Beautiful. He'll have a step for goal, swings it across, looking for Bartlett, there's a goal, beautiful. Out come it's all St Kilda, and a beautiful run. Oh, bad play as Green played on. Oh, lucky. Here's a chance for Richmond. The ball, oh, and a goal. It. It's a goal. Oh, another goal to Bartlett off the ground. So we've got the knock, it's picked up by Barker, it goes goal. Attack a lot of the rear time so far in this quarter. Walters cleverly around his opponent, Mackay, fires at the goals. That's a beautiful kick coming around, but it won't be quite far enough. Crosby tries to suffer it through. He's got it, and has got it. And Nolan Vanella underneath it, knocked away by Brown. Johnston snaps for goal for Carlton. That's going very close. That's a miraculous shot hit the post. Now it's a goal. I thought it bounced just at the bottom. What a goal. That's his third goal. Down towards Hunt there over the centre half for there's Dittrich going after it. But right on there's Barn down in Dittrich. And he'll get a free kick. A mark to go. Oh, there's a oh, free kick oh, oh. Muir. Muir was in it again. There's Dittrich and Sidebottom having it. Not that Sidebottom and uh, Keenan. Well, and very quick to get boot to ball out of the centre wing. And a good safe mark taken by Muir. Down goes Keith Brigg. Gets it out wide. They're looking for Muir. Down he goes. They get a free kick. Hunt's got a chance, he punches it out, Bucket comes now. Billy a free kick, it's a Saru, I'd say, as it finally comes over to count, back to Keenan. <laughs> Taken here by Clark, Clark uh, just about a, does a chip chop in the air. In this round, one of the hardest clashes of the year, Greg and Ray Carr. There's Greg, heavily led by a Picks it up, hit it, there's a snap for goal. Over the line, punched away from George Young by Billy Picken and one. And St Kilda Collingwood, Collingwood certainly thrilled the crowd Billy with action like this. Out of through and out of bounds. Bit of a tussle there, Gordon. Billy Picken. Pass out, Moore puts it out. Down goes Adjet. And then we see Jelly going down, but side got him will take a bit of pushing away. I'll tell you that now. Oborn going for the market, comes down to Dittrich again. He can't pick it up. Over to Dittrich. Oh, another free kick, I'd say. No, it's clear. Dittrich goes after the ball now. Over to Barker. Oh, kick. Oh, another one down. And a solid tackle. The ball held. Uh, holding the ball decision. Well, there wasn't oh, much action to do about that. Couldn't it was anything. a solid. Driven back towards centre field. Going after it now is Pickens. Punches the ball beautifully that guy. Up that time. Will it bounce okay for Pickett? No, oh, down he goes for Matthews, and when he bumps up, they stay down. Now, Wearmouth going out. Oh, he's grabbed around the neck. He's got to get a free kick, but that's only pulled his head out of the suck of the game. Well, trying to get away from Scott, but he's away, but Scott won't give up the front line because he went down that time. He didn't even worry about it. And, uh, and an easy mark there by McLean. It's Fizer, uh, Armstrong goes, he's got it. Half back while oh, McLean. Oh, they're all. But Pickett in trouble. Half time, and McKenna's got them. Goes through. Oh, so he pick him all. He's oh. Left. Positions way. Handball from Manus. Very scrambly football indeed. And Browning puts a high kick down a forward. A big pack of players. But it's a match. Oh. 
and some did their tempers. And goes for a long drop hunt kick towards the half forward flank. Big Sam Newman went for the ball. Here's a chance for and Smith. Carlton has a snap for goal and he's popped it through for the first one. Hit the Flashed post. at Prince's Gary Park. Kevin will have a snap towards goal. That's good. Now hit the post. Well, this was the day the post got in the way, James, as you'll see. James, James fires at the goal, but oh, hit the post. There it goes. The ball tapped down to Richardson. And Collingwood kick a goal. Hit the post. Let's hope he can kick this goal for South Melbourne. He, no, he doesn't kick it. He's put it hit the post. That's the tip. Ball knocked out now to Stewart as a spot shot for goal. Will it make it? It's bouncing now at the post. Luck on the day. Oh, the wasn't post. with the Maggie. Stewart would be 45. Three posters in goal. one quarter. Directly in front. As he was in the goal, got a chance to bring up Collingwood sixth. Here he comes now, lining up the goals. Stewart, that's pretty close. What's the decision? Hit the post again. Play on the call. Amazing. Wearmouth has a shot for goal and has missed. Hit the post. Goal. He's got a fortnight to go for this one. What will he do? Fire. Hit the post. Yeah, picked beautifully by Tuck. Well, some of the misses of the season. Renee Kink. Michael Tuck. Hawthorne centre half back Peter Knights. Kicked, kicked it like one. Hawthorne who boots the Hawks up towards Peter Knights. Who has a chance to soccer it through and misses. Would never get a game in a soccer team. And one of the fumbles of the year from Rodney Gold. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> Kicked by Saru. Bad day for the Saints up. this. Oh. the post by Jelly. Over it goes to Buck. There's a chance for score now. The Swans really up gave them a football lesson. The guy by the name of Morrison so picked up over 11 down. kicks in the first the quarter for the Swans. Now touch Luke. This vital point to Warren Jones summed up the afternoon. Desperation football down there. Been at hitting the point post there, Lou, but uh, with a head like crackers, it won't matter because he's up straight away. Mark Goo's kick going. Goldwood. Oh, oh. Johnson came across. Hit the goal post heavily. Johnson hasn't moved yet. He moves now. But by gee, he'll be sore. Oh, everyone And down. just a minute later, umpire Peter Cameron hit the turf. Also, Stewart kicks the ball back. The players up there and the umpire. Nippy Carlton Rover Alex Marcou produced the play of the day against the Lions. It brought down the house and the umpire as well. And they say some people knock the umpire. David O'Halloran, will he play on Saturday? This umpire wished he hadn't played this day. What will the result be? Can he give a decision? And about that, must have got that right on the face. He's okay now. Oh, that's good. He showed a goal. Indeed, they were flat out in more ways than one. We don't know what that is. The umpire goes down here. Is it a goal? What is it? Yes, it's a goal. Well, grab by Tim and it goes Garwood and hits the oh, post. And he's down again, that umpire. He's having a shocking day. It's the second time it's gone down. And also produced some of the skills of Brownlow medalist Malcolm Blight. Well, scoop that one in, I don't know, but he did get some of the left. Boom, have a look at that. For Malcolm Blight there, Blight a chance for the mark in the second grab. Picks up, gets onto the left boot, drives it goalwards. A goal umpire having a good look at it as it goes across the face and goes through. Right, a, a hand pass back to Blight. Let's see what he can do with his left foot again from exactly the same position. He tries to kick it through. What's he done? Biggie hands. Well, oh, oh. he started up at the uh, centre half forward, was back at the, on the half forward line as he gives it to Blight, and Blight goes bang. Thank you very much. Back to Stevens. Stevens in turn up towards half forward. Here goes Bond. Oh, he's lost the ball. Back to Armstrong. Is there some pressure in this game? Back to Jelly, a hand pass. Jelly now with another hand pass over to Loft. He's in trouble. Tackled by Jones. Over to Barker. Barker has a shot for goal and has put it through. A kick into the air. Tony Shaw underneath the ball. Tap back to Peter Moore. Some of the runs of the day. Peter Moore. Does it well against Michael Tuck and the big fellow streams downfield. A couple of bounces. That's his third. He's hopefully pursued by Terry Wallace, but he's still showing him a clean pair of heels. Ghastly bit of quiet player as the ball is knocked out that time by the right hand of Scott. He's playing. Scott. He's going down. He's been streaking away. And almost a goal. Kicks of the day, marked one by Michael well, Montreux. Me, the Magpies badly need a goal. Right on the boundary line. And what's the result? Goal. It's coming around beautifully. What a beautiful goal. Out now as it goes for Carlson. Dunn's there. He can't bend down. He clears a quick snap for goal. And what has he done with it? He's put it through. Wall couldn't get it clear. Here's a chance for Collingwood now. Yeah, some of the great goals of the day. We had the Nasser, Dunn. 
punch it away. Another one of the Maggies. Took off the ground by Henry for full points. As he mark it I'd say he made sure he put the goal. And run against the point post, Walter and Thompson. There's a goal coming up to Russell. No doubt about that one. Knocked out by Thompson, grabbed by Matthews, a snap for goal. It's nearly a goal, I'd say. Moncrief knocked away by his opposite number six and McCormack over to Russo though who's clear of Tony Shaw Russo has a pot shot for goal that's going pretty close it's a goal it's coming around not quite and here's the goal of the goal. season possibly luck wise Ronnie Wearmouth had the ball hit onto his foot for the Blues on the wing and here's Catoggio Catoggio come forward Catoggio takes another bounce He's going to have a shot. So he hand passes over the top into the forward cup and it goes. The hand pass comes back to Catoggio and he shoots. Another goal. To Off the top of the pack, backing up well as Hans. He gets a kick out here wide. At the back is Whitcroft trying to juggle that mark. But there we see Collins too strong for Takes the ball away. Beautiful play by the Carlton. Some Carlton. of the best team play of the finals now. The Blues in action. Side bottom on the half back flank. He's hurt his elbow. Play goes on at the other end of the ground. Side bottom under it. So is Scanlon. Side bottom not paid them. Yes. He got the free kick off them. And a great effort by Cunningham to dive. Side bottom cutting down. Comes out a good position for, to go through. Piece of play by Van der Hose. He got out of that one. And all are too high again. Now in the back. And then there was old rivals Collingwood and Carlton. Still trying to get it out. The umpire said a throw in. Oh, oh, Collingwood oh. gives Sheedy the chance. South to Melbourne and Richmond also down. got into it. Almost a mark there to Fields coming through as hot. An unusual clash. Watch the foot of Thompson. Don't stand on my hand, mate. Battles on, over to Richardson, he's bumped by Lee Matthews. And so good of the ball quickly, when, in, uh, when tackled by King. Still nobody to give it to. It was the Magpies gets, that upset the Hawks' winning run so on that occasion, but gets it over at the VFL field, Park. Pushed in the back and he'll get a free kick. Sheldon out in front, tries to keep it in front of him too, and pick up any free which may be around. There's Collins. Still the weight was being the used. Carlton and Essendon have clashed many times before. And one of the heavier ones was at Windy Hill. Possibly a spectator or two and a two, I noticed there. Paul Vangel's in the two. Gold on fires, boundary on fires, runners knocked on again by Nettlefold. Oh, it's got him, Murphy. Murphy's got no one to give it to and gets, uh, he's in all sorts of trouble, Murphy. Pop. Jones and Teasdale trying to get to the site of knockout, taken away all oh, oh. by harm, not harm, but uh, Towns. And he towards the centre of the ground. Davis in the front there, but coming through as Dempsey, he caught one too. And the, the center round center also the produced some pretty hefty knocks. Bars coming over to Goss, in trouble, he's grabbed. Played most of the. Luke Rusin has the go. Oh, he's caught it. Well, that's foolish play, considering the pressure they're under at the moment. They want to reserve everything they possibly can. Peter, a little bit of frustration, I think, creeping into it there. Stephen Robbins learned that he had to keep his eyes on the ball. That's number 24, right in the back of the head. Or Alan Jarrett. You work certainly the key to success. Also, never take your eyes off the ball, as this policeman did at VFL Park. Very good kick. It could bounce away from him unless he can trap it before it goes over the line. He does so. Well. Players not left, right, and centre, including a policeman. If looks can kill. The Saints have beaten Carlton. But I think it's a bit late. But as Mike Patterson said, they were all dressed up with nowhere to go. Hard tackles too. Carlton and Footscray. How's this for the mistake of the year? Jeff Southby. Picked up by Kelvin Templeton. Oh, and he got a boot thrown at him. <laughs> and, and over the fence. Over the fence. Thank you very much. Thomas going once again. And Terry Wheeler, the old finger job. <laughs> well, coaches pull some funny moves, but in the Carlton North Melbourne clash, the players just didn't know where to go. Congregated right about centre half forward, and the Carlton defenders don't know exactly which one they have to pick up. They're all walking around in circles. What's the result of all? He's got him by a very important part of uh, his undergarment, Alan Edwards, and I think it's broke. <laughs> 
Football's toughest guessing game. Just what exactly is Crackers Keenan say? And does he mean it? This day against his old rival Don Scott, Keenan was in full verbal flight before the siren had even had a chance to butt in. But it's pretty hard to upset Don Scott, isn't it, Bob? Well, if you look at Crackers, anything can upset you. Checking with the respective captains. And living up to his name. Keith Gregg and Ken Fletcher. Crackers Keenan looks, uh, well, he looks Crackers, doesn't he? <laughs> at the MCG, two angry ants. At quarter time, the football action was momentarily forgotten when rival coaches Percy Jones and Tony Jewell clashed. A few words, a push and a shove, and the crowd was buzzing. And the two respective coaches get into loggerheads. And finally, it was left to Percy Jones. Going for his first goal. And he's seen some easy ones miss, so they be a bit anxious about it. There's a ball. Ron Ashman, great goal from Ashman, and look at Perth. Peter Jones and Thompson trying to push Percy Jones back. Jones looking for a free kick. Thompson, back up to Nesson and Mark, right over the top. And look at the eyes on Perth. I wasn't sure just which one will be paid. Peter Jones going through some actions there. He's thinking he'd break it a leg. Jesse gives him some advice. And he gives it back. Watch him go. Peter Jones, one of the most colourful characters in the Carlton team. At the back of Jones, could be a free kick, I well, think. Well, Perth was using his brains. Perth uh, Jones says, yes, uh, that's the brain. And, of course, we had oh, Perth up to his antics again. He kicked the, uh, the more, I'd say. It was against Jones. I nominate that before it even happened. Yeah, I don't agree with it. Well, no. you can't do it. Great mark taken out there by uh, Pennell. Football took on a feminine and long over 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 and long overdue touch.